welcome dear student on my channel today we'll see about the human skeleton system so human skeleton system for studying the human skeleton system i have brought the one mini human skeleton which is artificial human skeleton is there that is for you so that we can learn all whatever the bones together arrangement of the bones in our body in one vision with the all bones so this we can watch in the mini skeleton so how the placement is there about the all bones in our body that we learn through this mini skeleton adult person shows the total 206 bones in the body this skeleton consists of the two main part one that is a axial skeleton another is a appendicular skeleton now we will see what is come in the axial skeleton so axial skeleton consists of the first one that is about the skull then second that is about the vertebra so this about the vertebra from here to here then about the thoracic cage so this three together forms the axial skeleton it is called axial skeleton because it is a main axis of our body that's why it is called as a axial skeleton just now i said it consists of the skull then about the vertebral column then about the thoracic cage second part is there that is about the appendicular skeleton so appendages along with the girdles so here is a pectoral girdle about the pectoral girdle then about the forelimb bones then the pelvic girdle and about the hindlimb bones that comes under the appendicular skeleton about the skull so first in short we'll just learn about the skull in this video i will give the in general idea about the whole the skeleton of human and in the next video we'll learn in detail about the each what are the bones of the human body now we'll start with the skull so in short the skull is there the skull which consists of the this is the cranial nerve what are the bones are there as well as the facial bones so this together form the skull which gives a protection to the vital organ that is the brain second to this skull that is about the vertebral column so here if you'll see this this is the the ventral view is there which is from the front side while the dorsal view which is on the back side so here this is about the dorsal view is there so what just now i said about the axial skeleton system consists of the skull then about this the vertebras are there so here number of the vertebra total 33 rings of the vertebras are present then afterward the, the thoracic cage is there so this is from the back side and here from the front side this is about the thoracic cage this comes under what to the axial skeleton system about the appendicular skeletal system just now i said the girdles are there so here the the pectoral girdle is there from back side if you observe that this is about the pectoral girdle okay so which shows us the, the scapula is there as well as the this is the clavicle is there that we'll see in detail afterward then next about the forelimb bones are there which is on the upper side of the body then about the pelvic girdle is there so this is the hip girdle which is present on the lower side of the body and then about the hindlimb bones are there so this about the hindlimb bones are there so which together forms what the appendicular skeleton about the axial skeleton system so axial skeleton system just now i said about the skull then about this the vertebra is there so this total 33 rings of the vertebra just now i said here so first seven are there which is a present in the neck region they are called as a cervical vertebra so here we'll get the clear idea so first here the atlas is there second one is the axis is there and these are what the cervical vertebras together so which is present in the neck region there are total seven next is there about the thoracic region so which is a uh, forming the thoracic cage which is connected to the ribs and which forms the thoracic cage so so these are the thoracic vertebra which are present in the thoracic region these are total 12 numbers are there then about the lumbar vertebra so which is in the present in the lumbar region which is in the abdominal region so this total five are there and next are there the sacral vertebra which forms the sacrum so these five bones are there which fuse together to form the sacral vertebra and the next last four are there which forms the coccyx which is a remnant of the tail and that forms what that is about the caudal vertebra so which are the four in number so like that here the seven plus then the twelve plus five then the five and last four so together it forms the 33 rings of the vertebras are there which is a present in the human body so in the cervical vertebra the first one just now i said that is about the the atlas is there and then about the axis is there and then continuous what are the rings of the vertebras which are connect to one another and that in at the coccyx which is a remnant of the tail that is called as a vestigial organ in the center of this particular the 
this canal in each vertebra there is a the canal is a present through that the soft spinal cord which is a passing we know that at the end of the brain so here last part of the brain is there which is a medulla oblongata is there and that forms the spinal cord continuously and which goes down through this particular canal of this vertebra which is get protected so this soft water the spinal cord is there which is a protected by the the central canal of that particular vertebras that's why it is get protected why do have we have this all small pieces of the bones which are called as a vertebra this provides what which provides a flexibility if you observe that the roughly s shape structure so which gives a flexibility to the body so for the the movement of forward as well as for the backward as well as to the right to the left down up etc and here because of this the vertebra the spinal cord is there which is get protected inside this the vertebra it do not get damage so just now i said about the first seven cervical vertebras are there which is present in the neck region next the 12th thoracic vertebras are there which are present in the thoracic region so here the ribs are there which are connected from the toward the back side that is toward the it's a dorsal side and on the front side this ribs are get attached to this to the the sternum this regarding this we'll discuss afterward next five lumbar vertebras are there which are present here so this five lumbar vertebras are there which are present in the lumbar region or we can say which are present in the abdominal region and next this what forms a sacrum so here total five vertebras are there which are the fuse and which forms a sacrum so which are the sacral vertebras are there and the last four are there if you we'll watch from here so here the last four which are present so the last four which are present here they are the the coccygeal vertebras are there which forms a tail vertebra which is just now i said the vestigial organ is there okay so which forms a coccyx in case of the human being it is a vestigial organ we know that we are we have evolved from the our ancestors so here the animals are there like the cat cow dog etc they shows the presence of this continuation of this vertebra about the this the co coccygeal vertebras are there and that forms a tail now we'll see about the rib cage so this forms a whole rib cage so number of the ribs are there so we have the 12 pairs of the ribs we have the 12 pairs of the ribs that is get attached to the ventral side to the sternum and on the back side to this vertebral column so where the thoracic vertebras are present and then it forms a one particular cage so which forms a thoracic cage which gives a protection to the vital organ that is the heart and the two lungs which are located inside this portion and here the diaphragm is there so at this portion is there which is a close the with the diaphragm and that's why the inner space is there which is a airtight and that maintain the about the respiration and the circulation in the body about the total 12 pair pairs of the ribs which are present so of which 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and the 7 so this total seven ribs first seven ribs are there which are called as a true ribs they are attached directly to the sternum in the front side and back side they are attached to the thoracic vertebra so that's why they call as a true ribs the next 8 9 and 10 8 9 and 10 they are not directly attached so they come together and then they together attached to the sternum that's why they are called as a false ribs so here the this is about 8 9 and about 10 which are forming the false ribs next two ribs are there last two ribs are there which are the the 11th and the 12th so this 11th and the 12th ribs are there which are the floating ribs which are not attached to the sternum they are floating here that's why the name is given floating ribs that's why here total the, the 12 ribs are there of which first seven which are called as the true ribs as they directly attached to the sternum then the next three are there 8 9 and 10 which are the indirectly attached that's why they are called as the false ribs and the last two are there which are the floating and that's why here they are called as the floating ribs are there so the true ribs then the false ribs and then the floating ribs like that here total 12 pairs of the ribs which are present in the human ba human body now we'll see about the appendicular skeleton just now i said that appendicular skeleton consists of the pectoral girdle then the this the forelimb bones then the pelvic girdle and the hind limb bones first we'll see about the pectoral girdle so pectoral girdle consists of the two bones one that is about the clavicle so this clavicle is there which is also called as a collar bone which is on the front side which is attached to the sternum here and on the back side if you observe that it shows a presence of the scapula so this pectoral girdle which is a on the both the side of the body one on the left side other is on the right side this scapula is there and the clavicle is there which is attached here 
and here the scapula which shows a small cavity here that is called as a glenoid cavity to which this forelimb bone is get attached now here the forelimb bones is there so forelimb bone where here this is about the the upper arm bone is there which is called as humerus head of the humerus is there which is attached here at the cavity that is a glenoid cavity just now i said and then because of that it forms a ball and socket joint and that's why we can show the movement of the our hand in the different direction next two bones are there which is the the radius and the ulna radius is a strong as compared to the ulna ulna is a thinner one this radius bone is there which is continued toward the thumb bone while the ulna is there which is continued toward the our little finger radius and ulna attached to this here the portion is there where the bones are there which are called as the carpals are there which are total eight carpals are there the next the the metacarpals are there of each what is the finger which is get attached here and then the phalanges are there phalanges from the formula like the 3 3 3 3 and the 2 like that's here total 14 phalanges are there so total we have the total 30 bones are which are present in the each limb so for limb this is a first one then 2 and 3 then here the 8 so 11 are there and here the total what are the next about the 5 and then the last 14 are there so total 30 bones are present in each limb bone next to this we'll see about the next to this we'll see about the the lower limb bones and the pelvic girdle so pelvic girdle this pelvic girdle is there which is uh, again on the both the side of the body that is the left and the right side it is get fused with the this sacrum on the back side it is get articulate with the sacrum so if you observe that this on the back side this the pelvic girdle is get articulate to this sacrum on the front side it is get attached to one another by this here the pubis symphysis is present this pelvic girdle is there pelvic girdle consists of the three bones one that is a ilium is there so this one is a ilium then next one is that is about the ischium and then this is about the pubis so like that here three bones together forms this the pelvic girdle which is on the front side on the ventral side it is get attached here which form the pubis symphysis this pelvic girdle also shows one particular cavity this cavity is called as a acetabulum to which the bone of the thigh the thigh bone is there where the head of the thigh bone it is get articulate here and that forms what it forms a ball and socket joint same like our the forelimb bone about this the hindlimb bone which is a, the thigh bone also it is called as the thigh bone which is the femur is there it is the longest and the strongest bone in the body next to this lower two are there which are the tibia and the fibula at this junction here the small cap is a present which is called as a knee cap that is called as a patella so this the tibia and the fibula tibia is a stronger as compared to the fibula so same here the tibia is there which continue with the the larger toe is there and then here the the fibula is there toward the smaller toe is here like the forelimb bone here it shows the presence of the tarsals then the metatarsals are there and then the phalanges same like the forelimb bone here which is showing the formula 3 3 3 3 3 and 2 so like this way total 14 bones so same way like the forelimb bones it shows the presence of the total 30 bones this is the first one one that is the femur is there then two then here the patella is there and then here the total what are the the tarsals are there and here again the the metatarsals and then the phalanges so like this way here about the hindlimb bones so student we have already learned everything in detail about the each bone with the help of this the mini human skeleton once again we'll just go through this about the axial skeleton which is at the axis of our body which consists of what the the skull is there then next about the vertebra and then next about the thoracic cage appendicular skeleton consists of what the pectoral girdle also called short shoulder girdle which is having the clavicle and back side the scapula is present as well as the forelimb bones are there then lower side you have the pectoral pelvic girdle is there and the hindley bones are there so together which forms a human skeleton and that is about the 206 total bones are present so hope you have enjoyed this video so i am sure that everyone understood about the each and every part of this the human skeleton in the next video i'll explain in detail about the skull about the each vertebra about the atlas also about the axis also about the each ribs also with as well as the four limb bones pelvic girdle about the pectoral girdle about the hind limb bones with the separate what are the bone and with the help of that we can easily understand about each and every bone of the human body okay thank you if you like my channel subscribe and share with your friends and wait for the next coming video about the each and every bone of the human body
थैंक यू